Okay, here we go then. Should be live. Yes, seems like I am. So, hey everybody, good to see you. Great to have you. Uh, here we go. Hope you're having a great... What day is it today? A great Thursday. It's almost the weekend, guys. Hold on. And I hope you're ready for more Extra Training Investigations number two. Uh, as you can see, my situation is quite dire at the moment. It's not doing very well. I was having a bit of trouble at the end of last stream. We were in the middle of this interrogation, and for the life of me, I could not figure out what I should present and when. So I decided I was running out of time. I decided to just like end it and retry again today. So we're gonna go, we're gonna start by going over all of Courtney's statements and pressing them. And hopefully maybe, you know, in uh, we'll see something in a new light and be able to, to bust this open. I was really, really tempted to look up the solution, but I didn't. I'm gonna, like, even if it takes me failing, I'm gonna do it. I, I don't remember what happens when you get a game over in this, but we might just find out soon enough because I am pretty clueless, but let's get started for now. So, I acknowledge that Professor Von Karma fabricated the information about the body. Basically, if you don't remember, right now we're arguing that uh, we need to do a retrial because uh, Jeff Masters couldn't have done it with new information that came to light, but Courtney believes that it was that he. They were accomplices, Kate and uh, Jeff, that they worked together to kill the um, to ki kill Pierre Hoquet and hide his body. So let's start by pressing this. Hold it! If you acknowledge that, why would you reopen the case? The goddess of law does not err in her judgment. Well, Prosecutor Von Karma Objection. may have... Ob Objection. You ask me. It's all been bogus ever since Von Karma fabricated evidence. You claim that justice was served. What is the PIC thinking? I can already declare my verdict. There is no need for further investigation. Let's hear your explanation on the matter, then. Okay. However, he successfully convicted Mr. Master as an accomplice. Maybe the, the accomplice is the thing here. Um, murder weapon. Because I remember that in different case files, like in one it said that he was just the murderer, just the killer, and in another it said that he was, an that he was actually an accomplice, which is quite odd. Uh, created a dessert contest. Victim's body was found inside. Yeah, that's the. After his own confession, he was convicted as an accomplice. Oh, god damn it. So, yeah, this matches. Thank you, Suika. I'm glad you're, uh. You're appreciating it. Uh, well, I don't know. I do enjoy this game. I do think it's a good game. And I know of at least, even though over on, you know, Twitch and SSH, it's not a big hit, unfortunately. I know of at least one guy on YouTube that uh, I think watches my broadcasts. So as long as there are people willing to watch this, I'm going to keep going. So, uh, so it seems that not to be this, like, it seems that she actually has her shit together. As befitting her. But let's press it. Also, how you doing, Suika? How's your Thursday so far? HOLD IT! I heard that the biggest factor in Mr. Master's conviction was his confession. If Prosecutor Von Karma had a hand in his confession, just ruling may not be just. The ruling may not be just. Overruled! Overruled. The initial investigation was handled by Detective Rip Laser. He was the one who obtained the confession, according to the official reports. Again, official reports. Do we have anything? I'm gonna look over this again. 18 years ago, time crime scene, Mr. Master's Mansion, Luxall Lamb, after my karma, Gregory Edgeworth. 
victim's body vanished, there appears to be no autopsy report. So, yeah, it just says that he confessed, which is true. He did do that, even if it was coerced out of him. All I can say is that the ruling has already been handed down. Jeez! Why does Miss Courtney have to be so stubborn? Is the PIC so high and mighty? They sure seem like the arch enemy of prosecutors, to say the least. So they're kind of like what the police are to great thieves! Says the great thief who nonchalantly works alongside the police. Alright. Uh, actually, that made me think another thing. I know that there's... To be honest, the shit in this is so convoluted that it requires even more suspension of disbelief than the Zero Escape games. Yes, that's, that's pretty much true, Suika. Well, almost, I think. It's kind of, it's a nice little competition between the two of them. But this game just has so much, I think, charm and likability. Like, it's 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 just charming me into liking it so much. Uh, it's fun, it's zesty and all that. And uh, it's just kind of fun going through it. Even if it's, like, completely, you know, it, even if it is very silly and illogical. It's, I don't know, something about it just captures me. Or captivates me would be the more correct word. Now, okay, accomplices. If possible, accomplices are on trial. The countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached, then resumes. Well, there's something about that because his trial, if I remember right, Jeff Masters' trial took on for like, took like a year or something. So this might be something to do with that. If possible accomplices are on trial. So if she was an accomplice. According to Courtney, then something about this... Stop the deal. I don't know. Like, I'm not sure how this is supposed to help us right now, but it's it's something. And this is the newest piece of information. Usually, not always, but usually in these type of interrogations or cross-examinations, the latest um, piece of evidence is the most useful one. So I'm going to keep this in mind. I already tried it on two statements, which were false. But I'm going to try that again. I believe that the true culprit was Miss Curator herself. Hold it! Are you saying that both Miss Hall and Mr. Master murdered Isaac Dover? Mr. Master committed the murder, while Miss Curator moved the body. That's what I believe. Come on. How can you say that? We would never... Smash. Did you not steal the body and preserve it for 18 years? It is only natural to suspect you of being an a Objection! She has already confessed to her crimes. And now is not the time to judge her of her past crimes. In that case, let's judge Miss Hall for her current crime. Okay, and that's another thing. Like, she's saying, yeah, okay, uh, statute of limitations is over, which is why I don't feel like I need to present it here. I'm going to focus on what she did right now, which is um, sort of like attempted murder, pretty much. But I don't know what I can say about that. Like, She even attempted to murder Mr. Gustavia today in order to pin the blame on him. And she admitted to that, so what am I, like, what am I supposed to do with that? There's supposed to be something contradictory about this, or something that doesn't add up, but I just can't spot it yet. Hold it! She wanted to pin the crime on somebody. Why choose Mr. Gustavia? Perhaps Mr. Gustavia suspected Miss Hall was the criminal. As he attempted to confirm whether or not the Gemini's culture was genuine. Whether the Gemini's culture was genuine. And that said that it's the Autumn Palace. Which goes Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries. 
she says Jonah. Maybe this is the contradiction? It's not really, since we know that he, like, entered the museum before it was open. I'm definitely, like, overthinking something here. I can already notice when I'm doing it with this game. Like, I'm thinking too far ahead, I think. So maybe this could be it. Maybe I just need to advance in some way and not go... Not try to figure it out completely right now. He was caught in a trap meant to silence him forever. Objection! Objection! Can you prove that theory? Mr. Gustavia is currently teetering on the brink of death. There's probably no way to prove it unless he regains consciousness. In other words, there's nothing we can do for now. That can't be true. There must be. There must still be something we can do. You still don't get it, do you? Allow me to give you a clearer explanation. So again, he says there must be something we can do, but I'm not sure if that's just like leading on to the next statement, or he's saying that this, or the game is hinting at me that this is where I need to present whatever evidence. We already have ample evidence for both the IS-7 incident and today's poison gas incident. And then she explains about ample I don't know. Hold it! Hold it! By ample evidence, you mean... For the IS-7 incident, we have a, a body, a murder weapon, and a pair of suspects. For the poison gas incident, we have the two chemicals in Miss Hall's confession. Well, yeah, we actually do have that. Uh, now, according to the original crime... I'm pretty sure I presented the statute of limitations on this statement, so it can't be that. Furthermore, I have finished collecting all the evidence necessary. For your own EIC hearing, Prosecutor Edgeworth. What? How, how can he say something like that so casually? Miles, you know you're always welcome to join the Edgeworth offices. <laughs> Judge Courtney, I'd like to ask you... I'd like to ask that you refrain from making such needless remarks. Mm -hmm. I understand. Well, regardless... There's no need to investigate any further. Hold it! Are you saying that there is nothing left... Whoops, sorry about that. Oh, thank you so much. Another fucking Windows update. Jesus, fuck, it never stops. Remind me in, I don't know, three fucking days or something. Whatever snooze that bitch. We have already exhausted all ends in regards to the evidence. This court will accept no further deliberations. Now that I think, I don't know, that's kind of, you know, calling for it. For me to say that there's a piece of evidence that hasn't been, like, that we haven't exhausted yet. I'm not sure about it, though. I shall now deliver my verdict for the defendant, Catherine Hall. I hereby... Objection! Hold it! There's still a need for further investigation. If you wish to hold my verdict, please do so with evidence. That is, if there is any evidence that requires further deliberation. Yeah, and that seems like an invite to like show her a piece of evidence that requires further deliberation. So we're, we're gonna go all, over all the evidence soon and see if there's anything that pops up. That's right now the only lead that I can think of. I cannot allow this case to end here. There's still something that needs to be cleared up. Looks like I'll have to show Judge Courtney something to convince her. Whoops, god damn it. Okay, let's just go over the evidence first before we start, like, looking over everything. Alright, so got our badge. Got the case, the incident file. Parts and Orange are Shields notes. This is all the info. Time of death, 1224, or 24 of, the, of December 2018 years ago. 
Crime scene, Detective Jeffrey Masters' room, Mr. Masters' mansion, murder weapon, rock salt lamp, prosecutor, Manfred von Karma, defense attorney, Gregory Edgeworth. Statute of limitations ran out on December 24, three years ago. Right, after 15 years. Jeffrey Master, 39, creator of the dessert contest. That's a suspect. Uh, the victim's body was found inside a dessert made by, made by the suspect. This led to his arrest. In jail, he was diagnosed with hypogosia and he was treated by medicine. After his own confession, he was convicted as an accomplice to the murder. Yes. Isaac Dover. His true identity is the famous French sculptor Pierre Hoquet. He entered the contest as a cake designer, but his body was found in the defendant's room. The cause of death was blunt trauma to the head, but because of the victim's because the victim's body vanished, there were, appears to be no autopsy report. Is that the true reason? Maybe this? I don't know. I don't remember if I used the case file on this statement. I definitely used two evidences on both of them. And one of which was the statute of limitations. I'm not sure what the other one was. Maybe the finger marks. Let's keep going for now. Okay, we got the art gallery pamphlet. I don't see how this really helps us right now. Richard Palace photo, identical to the sherbet desserts the victim made 18 years ago. And we know that that's the case because they are the same uh, desserts that were made 18 years ago. So not sure how this works into this. Used gas burner. There are traces that it was used before the police arrived. It was used to heat something. Yes, we know that it was. I'm not sure if that's like an on exhaust... That, uh, like a piece of evidence that hasn't been exhausted yet. Fluorescent cloth given to Kate by Delisha. The cloth that vanished 18 years ago was found floating in the fountain. And again, that's because we know that she hid the body by mistake. Cloth included. Pisces sketch. Larry drew a sketch of the Pisces sculpture just as he saw it. Which makes sense since we know that... Actually, come to think of it... Where did she put the Fatalium? Well, we know there was Normalium on the top of the of the glass of the glass case, but where? And then that's why it trickled down in red. Or I don't know. Like I don't know. When you really think of maybe that's like like what Suika says that when you really think about it, there's like a bunch of stuff that doesn't actually make sense. So I don't know. Doesn't guess. The white fatality makes the word normal. Yes, we know that. Angel recipe book contains a recipe for the drug that will cure the taste or disorder hypogosia. Or hypogosia. I don't know. Doesn't seem relevant right now. There's this. This is definitely unsolved. We don't know who left the finger marks behind in Mr. Master's room. But they won't accept this. Rock salt lamp. Stained with Dover's blood. I don't I don't think like this contradicts anything or that this hasn't been exhausted yet. This the family photo, we haven't used this. I think this was the the other piece of evidence I tried to present. Since there are the sons here and we haven't used this yet, and I know for a fact that like something about this that there's that their kids tie into this somehow. Pot made by Pierre Hoquet. Doesn't really... I don't know. Like, she just bought it? And stored the Normalium in it? I, I don't really see anything else. Left trolley 18 years ago. Don't we use this to carry ice sculptures. The surface of the platform is wet. We know that Kate used it to transfer the ice sculptures that she hid away. And unknowingly, also the body. Sketch of beauties. Larry drew the sketch just as he saw it, touched the G, yeah. And this is how we prove- well, it doesn't really help us. We already used this and it doesn't really prove anything right now. Chocolates had made by Miss Hall, they were kept inside her pocket so they have melted a little. I don't think we've used this either, I'm not sure if it's... Let me think, does this like contradict anything in the timeline? 
She made chocolate, so therefore she couldn't have... I don't know, done something? I'm really not sure. Liquid analysis. We already used this, so I think it's pretty, like... And it's, an, uh, it's like an analysis result. So it's not like anything is unexplained. We know that there's salt, sugar, and blood inside the statues. Sugar matches the light blue liquid found in Dover's room 18 years ago. And that's how we knew that they are the same statues from 18 years ago, along with the body. Sugar found in the fender appears to have the same composition, which is nearly impossible. And that's how we know. Of course, we have the statute of limitations that we might have even received from her. Use the power of adamant. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what I should do. If only there was an option. Oh, hey, Sim. Glad you joined us. How are you doing, buddy? Hope you're enjoying your uh, Thursday. Okay, so I really don't know. Like, I feel like from the hints they give me throughout the dialogue and at the end. Uh, not much, man. Busy day. Busy long day. Happy to be uh, here with some Vidya and friends. Okay, so I think this is it. I think this is the statement. I th and I don't know. I feel like I should just like try and throw everything I have at it. I'm pretty sure I already tried the statute of limitations and the family. Fo and no. With a frame finger marks? What the hell did I use? I think I. Fuck, I'm not sure. I spent yesterday setting up the new TV in the. Nice. Uh, have you guys broke it in yet, or not yet? You're gonna do some, gonna like watch something special? Some 4K Planet Earth or something? Hmm. Fuck, well, I really don't remember that much what I tried to present. I think it was probably these two, but since I'm not sure, should I try something else first? Bango, really? 4K Planet Earth? Nice. That was probably pretty awesome. 4K nature footage is, is pretty fucking cool. Seeing, you know, seeing all the all the hairs on the flies on the buffalo. 4K HDR Planet Earth 2. Cool. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here, I don't know. I feel that... I'm positive I did this, because I was sure that it was going to be the thing. The family... I'm not positive about the family photo and the statute of limitations. It seems like I have about one, two... I'd say four attempts before it's a game over. So let's at least start with these and move on from there, because I'm really clueless right now. OBJECTION! Abzu? I don't think I've ever played Abzu, actually. Don't really know it. Judge Courtney, don't you have a problem with that statement just now? Should I have pro should I have a problem with it? <laughs> exactly. Because there's no problem at all. Oh, oh, right, 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 yeah. I remember now. Seen a bit of it. Kind of like, uh, oh, or maybe it is that game that we had on AP with like corn streaming it and going like all, getting a huge uh, nerd boner over all the aquatic life or something. Yeah, okay, then yeah. It's pretty cool, yeah. I can see what she'd want to play that. It's a pretty chill game. In that case, you should have refrained from speaking in the first place. Oh, I don't think that left a good impression. Okay, that's one down. I'm just gonna keep trying. I'm not even... I don't exactly remember what happens when we get a... Uh, a game over in this. But I think we're gonna find out. Um, like, I'm really not sure. I think the family photo or the chocolates fuck it, I'm gonna try the chocolates because I really don't know nature boner yeah 
aquatic boner. OBJECTION! Judge Courtney, could you take a look at this piece of evidence? I'm afraid I cannot accept that piece of evidence. I do not believe it has any relation to my testimony. No. Oh. As I expected, she's nothing like Mr. DeBest. However, I won't back down so easily. Yeah, same for me, Suika. I gotta say, was gotta admit he was pretty adorable. Um, freaking out about all that stuff. Oh, I see. Then yeah, that would explain it. Okay, what else do I have? I'm gonna say... I don't know, when I figure it out, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Let's try the family photo, and I'm not sure what's gonna be the last one. OBJECTION! And yeah, we already did this one. I think. Oh no, it was... Yeah, whatever. Present evidence that will silence her for good... I don't know, man. I'm gonna save state just in case that I f that this is I don't know like a huge game over or something. Even though I'm sure it's not, but okay. So present I don't know what other evidence do I have? Maybe the gas burner. Objection! Oh boy, and yeah, we're back to that to this dialogue. Uh oh. this far, only to lose the truth. But it seems there's nothing I can do now. Thus, the truth was lost for all eternity. God damn it. Okay, so I'll continue. From chapter start? Really? Wow, okay, that is actually kind of brutal. They just deleted my fucking save? That's not nice, like, at all. Fuck that, dude. I'm not restarting the entire chapter, that, that ain't gonna happen. Okay, I'm debating, like... <laughs> Delete, yeah. Uh, so, I'm not sure, like, if I should look at a walkthrough. I've never done this in this game, as far as I can remember. But I'm really... I'm really clueless. Or maybe I can get a hint. Hold on, let me check if uh, UHS... has, like, uh, something for this. Oh, come on! I was just fighting something. Okay, no, they don't. Okay, so... I'm just gonna try shit, I guess, for now. And if it's not this statement, then I'm just kinda fucked. Objection! No. This feels kinda cheap, but I don't... Re well, we are safe to heroes, so... I guess cheap is fine. I was gonna have you... Objection! No, wait, this?! What's not clear about the- um, well, I overthought it again. I mean, it, it was probably obvious what... To me, it seemed so obvious. Everything. Like, I know exactly what all- every piece of this proves. It proves that the body was in there, in the ice, and it proves... I don't know. Maybe because there weren't any traces of normality and fatalium, but that's... No, I don't know. Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, if Journey becomes playable, that would be really fun. I heard so much good stuff about that game. Really want to check it. Oh, so that's why you've been playing so much uh, Mario Kart. Now I get it. Okay, well, let's do this then. Let's do 
Mars until something. Monster Hunter has co-op? Like couch co-op? I didn't know that. I've been looking for co-op games. Like local co-op games. I might get that too. Anyway. OBJECTION! There's still one piece of evidence that from the IS-7 incident that remains unsettled. Take a look at this. This is... Oh, oh, the net play. Yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. That's what I thought. This is the forensic results from the Gemini sculpture that melted in the Winter Palace. According to the results of the analysis, traces of someone's blood were found. Yes, I would imagine the corpse, since it was, since it was in, the, in there, wasn't it? Who does this blood belong to? Until we know the answer, this case is still open. Well, yeah, again. I overthought it. I assumed that everybody, that it was clear that the blood would be the bodies because the body was in it, but whatever. And that would just, like, incriminate her further. There was blood mixed in with the remains of the Gemini sculpture? I heard nothing of this from Sebastian. This was a report from Detective Gumshoe. I had planned to tell Mr. the Best myself. Overruled. Overruled. Hmm. So even though he had no investigative authority, you still did as you please. I shall report everything that transpired today to the PIC. I will not avert my eyes from the truth, nor shall I overlook the mistakes of the past. If you wish to report my actions to the PIC, be my guest. But in exchange, I want you to let me investigate this case to the very end. It is not my place to decide such things. I must ask if you check with Sebastian regarding this matter. Hey! Good news, you guys! Oh! Look at him, up on his feet. Thanks to our early detection, Mr. Gustavia's life was saved. <gasps> Mr. Gustavia? So, he's alive. Would uh, you be the one who saved uh, my life? Hey, Mr. Gustavia. Mm. You are the assistant, are you not? Oh, you've grown so big. This time, this one is your assassin then. This one is your assistant then. Did this judge, uh, probably the height of the PIC. I don't know, something with a PIC. Maybe he's gonna give her the PIC. I assume it's gonna be the big climax of the game. Like the final mini game. I wonder if he yells. I wonder if Edgy yells objection when he comes. No, I'm. <laughs> He's an assistant candidate. And Gregory Edwards' son. I am Miles Edgeworth, a prosecutor. <clears throat> what a twist of fate. I am in your debt. It is thanks to you that I have completely recovered. Huh. There's no need for thanks. Since you're alive, we can reach the truth behind the incident 18 years ago. Hmm. What do you speak of? While you were unconscious, the truth has started to come to life. You may be Isaac Dover's murderer. Oh, look at him sweating. What? Really? Miss Hall was looking for the criminal behind the events of 18 years ago. That's why she set up the poison gas in the Pisces case. 
Mr. Gustavia, the events of the incident 18 years ago. Tell us what really happened. So you wish to remain silent? Yeah, I think he's just meditating. He can sleep standing up? What a useful skill to have! Meditation is different from sleeping, though. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us about what you did 18 years ago. <laughs> I'm the criminal because I fell for the trap. That is not a very funny joke. I am a victim, not a culprit. Mr. Gustavia, it has not yet been made clear whether you, whether or not, you are the criminal. This is their ba this is only their baseless speculation. Do not concern yourself with the dribble of a prosecutor without jurisdiction. Hmm. At least there is one person here who understands. My name is Justine Courtney. I am a judge. If you would like, I would be happy to assist you. Let us show Prosecutor Edward the truth of 18 years ago. Understood. I shall prove my innocence to you, Sir Prosecutor. Objection! Objection! Judge Courtney, is that your answer? Do you intend to bury the truth of the IS-7 incident before it can be brought to light? Headpiss. I merely believe in the judgments of the goddess of law. Ultimately, those who render judgments judgment are only human. As long as humans control the law, there is no guarantee that every verdict is correct. If you are going to help conceal the truth, I will not hold back. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Lady Justin, what should I do now? You are being suspected because you set off the poison gas. Can you tell us the reason why you opened the Pisces case? Understood. I came to see Sir Dover's works from 18 years ago. However, I accidentally entered the museum a half hour before it opened. Miss Hall, there was nobody, the, nobody at the entrance, correct? Since I thought the criminal from 18 years ago might be coming, I had no security guards in place. I didn't even lock the doors. I was très busy with opening preparations, so there was nobody on the first floor. In addition, I locked every palace door aside from the autumn one. I say, this must have been done in order to lure the criminal to the autumn palace. Which is why he ended up entering the autumn palace. It's already suspicious that he snuck into the museum in the first place. Smash. The gallery should remain silent. Unless you have evidence that can prove his testimony false, I will not allow any objections. G gallery This isn't even a courtroom! Now then, why did you open the Pisces case? I wished to view Sir Dover's handiwork up closer. The Gemini sculpture? No, it was actually the Pisces, wasn't it? The lid had been frozen shut, so I borrowed the burner to open it. Where'd you get that burner? If you buy it with himself, that's like a pretty suspicious thing. But as soon as I opened the lid, poison gas began pouring out. That's quite a convenient testimony. It sounds like a total lie, doesn't it? 
smash. There are parts of Mr. Gustavi's testimony that I have issues with as well. However, there is no evidence to disprove it. But, but that. Would it not make sense for the suspicion to fall on Lady Catherine before myself? She may have intended to release the poison gas haphazardly. Objection. Objection. Kate returned this, turned on the sprinklers as soon as the gas was released. She was specifically targeting the person who triggered the trap. Mr. Gustavia, you were her only target. You, you are willing to accept the words of this criminal as truth. Miss Hall must atone for her crimes. However, the same can be said for the criminal from 18 years ago. Sir Prosecutor, it seems you wish to suspect me to the bitter end. However, I had no reason to murder Sir Dover. There is no evidence to suggest that I killed him. You cannot suspect me. Oh. Mr. Edgeworth, can't you prove that Mr. Gustavia is the criminal? All we know for sure is that Mr. Gustavia fell victim to the poison gas. No matter how strange his behavior was, it won't prove he committed the murder. But that's... Mr. Shields, is there nothing we can do? Well, there isn't any evidence. We should try reorganizing the facts. Mr. Gustavia was the one who killed Mr. Dover. There must have been a motive. Motive? Mr. Gustavia himself is denying that, much a, that such a motive exists. Okay, a piece of logic. It's not easy to take another person's life. 18 years ago, the old man also discussed motive with Prosecutor Von Karma. Your claim that collaboration is irrelevant. If Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover, re Dover's relationship had turned sour, this final dessert, but Dover didn't help. Well, that's one thing. I think there's more than that, though. More to that. It's gotta include something about their kids being friends and Gustavia's kid not showing up for the final... for the uh, final part of the championship. It could serve as a motive for murder. We couldn't talk with Mr. Gustavia 18 years ago, but this time... Things are different. We connect everything we've learned so far. Truth might be revealed. Yes, I suppose so. It seems I must re-examine the information from 18 years ago. I must recall all the details that have remained unexplained. So, the love figure marks the picture frame was your doing? should deny leaving finger marks on the frame. They were left by Mr. Gustavia. He may have been trying to view the angel's recipe. Okay, that's three pieces now. Monsieur Master asked me to change the film in the camera. It seemed the film he prepared in advance wasn't enough. There wasn't enough film. It seems the number of photos he took didn't match up with the amount of film remaining. Decreased. Did someone use it? Possibly? Not sure how all of these connect yet. Well, he told me himself it might have been just a mistake though. information my father collected 18 years ago was certainly not for naught. There is no evidence. Then I shall use logic to reveal the truth. Okay, let's... I think we can start by the motive going along with the partnership turned sour. Gustave helped Dover, but Dover didn't help back. 
So I'm gonna try this. Maybe since I'm on my last bit of HP, I should save here. But I think I'm right about this one. The Angel's Recipe and Remaining Film, I don't see how they connect yet, but we'll see what comes up out of this. Mr. Gustavia, you collaborated with the victim, Isaac Dover, to create your desserts, didn't you? Oh, it seems uh, you know about my secret. Mr. Shields told me about it. Mr. Dover handled the design while you were in charge of the taste. Is that correct? Back then, my training had been insufficient. It seems you worked together through the semi-finals, but not during the finals. Why is that? We both wished to compete in the finals against Sir Master on our own merits. Objection! Objection! You must have also helped with Isaac Dover's dessert even during the finals. Hmm. What makes you think? What makes you able to declare something like that? Didn't you tell Prosecutor Von Karma about it yourself, 18 years ago? That you cooperated until the day before the finals? The sculptures in Mr. In Mr. Dover's room were all made out of sherbet. Such an amount would most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet in advance the day before. That's right. So you realize Gustavia's cooperation ended the day before the finals. Then why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavia in return? Objection. Objection. The views of the dead are of no concern to me. Why did Isaac Dover not help you in return? Hmm. If there is a reason why your partnership with Isaac Dover broke down, that would be a motive for murder. Mm. That could be a possibility. However, Sir Dover and I ended our partnership peacefully. Prove it. A peaceful breakup? That's hard to imagine. Not to mention, it's absurd to think that I killed Sir Dover in Sir Master's room. I couldn't have killed Sir Dover while Sir Master was also there, making his desserts. Could not have killed Dover while Master was in the room. We'll see how that works for the rest of our pieces. In other words, there is no way I could have committed the murder. That's not true. There was a moment when Mr. Master was absent from the room. I could prove that it was possible for Mr. Gustavia to commit the murder. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. The Angel's Recipe and the timing. Mr. Gustavia didn't, could not have murdered Dover while Master was in the room. I'm not positive about this, but I think maybe it's the remaining film. Since Kate said, and she even showed us, that he was outside of the room when he asked her to go get more film. So there definitely was some part, like even if he didn't shoot the photos by himself, there definitely was a time period, a quick one, where he was outside the room. So I'm going to try this. Was the angel's recipe his goal? Possible, but... Maybe Dover discovered him trying to steal the angel's recipe and that's why he killed him. That's also a good motive. I'm gonna save here again just to, so I don't have to restart from the beginning of this chapter and let's connect. Ah, oh, goddammit! I can't see a clear connection between these two pieces of information. This oh, well, we did this part. Yeah, the truth was lost for all eternity, so we're gonna go to the other timeline where it was not lost for all eternity. So, 
Timing of Dover's murder, Angel's recipe is gold. I'm not sure. I don't think the Angel's recipe... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Maybe he... Especially since, like, it prints... It's like an instant camera. Maybe he used it to take pictures of the Angel's recipe. And that way he could have all that information without actually stealing it. He just, like, took po fixed photos of the pages and printed them. And that way no one could... No one else could know. But, except for the fact that there was less phone in the camera. So, it's kind of a stretch here, but let's... I'm gonna give it a try. If he had photographed the contents of the angel's recipe, he wouldn't need to steal it. Perhaps Mr. Gustavia used Mr. Master's camera to take the pictures. If he had stolen the actual recipe book, the police would have found out. I see. Pictures, eh? The problem is the time at which he entered Mr. Master's room. Mr. Gustavia could have moved around freely during the afternoon tea, right? Because it seems both him and Mr. Dover did not participate in the in the afternoon tea. Dover and Gustavia did not participate in the afternoon tea. Hmm. If I remember correctly, the only time we can prove that Dover was still alive is. The victim was not seen, as he stayed locked up in his room, after the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the locked rooms was Jeff Master. Was Master's desserts all that you ate? Actually, no. After the afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's desserts. After the contest began, Isaac Dover was locked up in his room. If we assume he was killed at some point before Delicia snuck into his room, then there is a high chance that he was killed before the afternoon tea was over. And now we got the answer to that. The timing of his murder... of his murder... At the time that Dover and Gustave were not... well, we know. Isaac Dover was alive up until the afternoon tea began. Ergo, that is the only time when Gustavia could have killed Dover. Prosecutor Edgeworth, are you satisfied? <laughs> Sorry, but I am far from satisfied. Because I am finally starting to see the truth behind this case. Are you saying you have found some evidence to show us the truth? No. There's no need to present any evidence. Since we can just have Mr. Gustavia tell us the truth. Ah! So, this is where you use that, right? Indeed. Mr. Gustavia, there is one thing I want you to tell me. I said, Mr. Gustavia, there is one thing I want you to tell me. No! What? What is it? During the finals of the contest, you made your desserts on your own. I wanted to compete for the title of the world's greatest pastry chef on my own merits. Objection! Objection! If that was truly the case, you would have competed on your own merits from the start. I want you to tell me why it was necessary for you to cooperate with Isaac Dover. Oh, chess mini game. Nice, I love this. During the contest 18 years ago, Mr. Gustavia collaborated with Mr. Dover. I wonder, what made them decide to cooperate in the first place? That's what I need to draw out from him, but... Oh wow, four pieces, holy shit. Hmm. It 
seems he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. First, I'll ask about why he collaborated with Mr. Dover. The truth has been hidden for 18 years. That ends today. Logic chess begin. Why did you decide to collaborate with Isaac Dover? Sir Dover and I were already acquaintances, even before the contest began. Since he was interested in the contest, we simply decided to enter it together. Huh. Joining forces with a sculptor, you weren't confident in your own abilities. Hmm. You know nothing about me. We wanted to make great works together. Uh, wait and see, I think. Or do I wait and see when he's quiet? I'm not sure yet. No, okay, we attack when he's frustrated, when he's quiet. Sir so Dover's son and my own attended the same elementary school. We all got along well from the start. Really? So you were going to share the title of World's Greatest Pastry Chef together? Mm. Oh, there we go. Huh. As expected, he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. Mr. Dover was a sculptor. I doubt he had any interest in the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. In that case, where did his true goal lie? Yes, one down. Indeed, my goal was the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. However, Sir Dover's goal was to win the grand prize, the Angel's Recipe. I say, you cooperated because you, your interests were aligned. But there must have been a reason why your partnership soured. Sir Prosecutor, I am the victim of a poisoning. If you are going to suspect me in this manner, Perhaps, I'd better return to the infirmary. Wait a moment. In that case, you should end things soon. I am not a patient man. It seems he's trying to leave. I can't let that happen. He's still hiding something. Next, I should ask him about his true girl. Nice. I need to keep the pressure on him while being cautious of the time. Uh... Did you have another go besides the title? Keep watching, but my connection has decided to buff- Ah, well, if you can hear me, that sucks, we cub, but thanks for still being around, man. I appreciate it. Hope you had fun. The title alone doesn't seem to have much value. Oh, I'll tell the likes of you! Insult the title of a confectionery artist. My only goal was the title itself. I had no interest in anything else. My dream was to become the world's greatest pastry chef. Eighteen years ago, I was lacking in design sense. However, things are different now. Oh, are you saying you have to improved your, at your craft? Exactly. I had trained at the Republic of Gym Farm. This is going to be a very important point, I can already tell. Yes, yes. At the time, I also studied Mr. Master's works. I would often watch his show with my son. So... You were studying Mr. Master's work to improve your own skills. If he had his recipes, perhaps it would have been easier for you to become the world's greatest. Yeah. Perhaps. To a pastry chef, Mr. Master's recipes were worth their weight in gold. Oh, there we go. 
becoming the world's greatest pastry chef was your goal? You should have also been interested in the grand prize, the angel's recipe. Yeah, two down. No! The recipes of the world's greatest pastry chef. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't interested. However, I wouldn't think that simply being interested would be a problem. I wonder about that. The angel's recipe's true nature was not for making desserts, but cures. And all of the cultist participants should have been aware of that. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting close. He isn't meditating anymore. Now, just slowly but surely, drive him into a corner. Awesome, all the way up. Next, I'll ask what he planned to use the recipe book for. Um, I'll try this. Did you intend to win the angel's recipe and use it to make desserts? Of course. If I obtained the angel's recipe, I was going to use it in my training. I hear the angel's recipe was worth a lot of money. I don't know the exact details, but... That recipe book was much too valuable to be sold. Oh. You seem to know quite a lot about the angel's recipe. was explained to all the contest participants at the beginning of the contest. Huh. In that case, you must know about the recipe book's true nature. It was not a recipe book for desserts at all! No! Impressive, sir, prosecutor. So you know the true nature of the angel's recipe. The angel's recipe. Some have called it the ultimate recipe book. It contained formulas for new medicines that were not yet on the market. He knew that the recipes were actually formulas for new medicines. This could be a useful clue. Okay, so now this. The angel's recipe. Did you know its true value? Silly question. It contains Sir Master's best dessert recipes. Any pastry chef worth their salt would want it. Looks like that clue would come in handy. You may have studied design in Zheng Fa. However, your skills in lying could use more work. You just said earlier that the angel's recipe contained formulas for medicines. Ugh, it's not done yet. No! You weren't interested in desserts. You wanted the medicine formulas. Oh, oh shit, you want to become a pharmacist? Did you need a new medicine? That's what you needed. Oh, with a fucking pawn, even. Now, why would a pastry chef such as yourself be so interested in medicine? Perhaps what you were really after was the information about the new medicine. Yes, three down. No! I have underestimated you, Sir Prosecutor. Yes. My goal was more than just the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. At the time, my son was ill. I needed the recipe for the medicine. Your son was ill? Tell me more about that. To protect my son's honor, I can say no more. Judging by the worried look on his face, I must have struck a nerve. Next, I need him to tell me more about his son's illness. All the way up, that's perfect. Let's see what we can do. This is it. 
This will be my final move of the game. So I'm not going to the name of the endless. Did the rest of the book have the only cure? Mm. I want to start with this. What was the name of your son's illness? Ah, Sir Prosecutor, how insensitive of you. My son was seriously ill. I will not be discussing this with the likes of you. It seems I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another line of attack. I must read my opponent's reactions and emotions and strike with the right words. So you won't tell me. Uh, if you won't talk about his son, maybe I'll talk about the book. Did the angel's recipe have the only cure? Yes. Though the medicine is being sold everywhere now. At the time, the recipe book was my one and only option. That is why I continued making my desserts without joining the others for the tea, for tea time. So you weren't interested in what Mr. Master was making? You sure seemed confident in your chances of winning. I couldn't be bothered to pay attention to the other contestants' desserts. Condition may be worsening. I should get back to the infirmary. Wait, wait! I was too passive there. Really? But he wasn't meditating. Ah, oh, shit. I must read. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, let's get through this. Oh, that was a bad idea. You just said earlier that you studied Mr. Master's works. In addition, if your goal was to win the contest in order to get the medicine formula, you must have been curious about the other contestants' entries as well. Yes. There was time to sample the other desserts during the contest, but none of the entries had any flavor. So I didn't want to eat any of it. I suspect I may have been a bit nervous as well. So everything he ate tasted flavorless. Yeah, it sounds like he had hypergaza or whatever it's called. The same illness that Jeff Masters had. Interesting. This could be a useful clue. Uh, I guess I could try and... I know, what was your son like, maybe? What kind of person was your son? Ah, my boy. He loved the desserts I made. Ah, oh, does that mean he died? Past it. Did you enter the contest solely for your son? Sir Prosecutor, you could never understand the feelings a father has for his son. I wanted nothing more than to cure my boy's illness. I... no. I'll... fuck. I'll... fuck. Time is too quick. Shit. I will reveal all your lies for what they are. Fuck. No. Is that all? You bore me with your empty threats, Sir Prosecutor. Shit, this game is getting hard. You should be careful not to make careless statements. Shit. I must read my opponent's reactions and emotions, and strike with the right words. Okay, skip through this. I don't want to speed up, just so I can click as quickly as possible. I've got to wait and see. Until the semi-finals, my son would always drop by the contest venue to play. Is that so? Wouldn't he get in your way? I doubt you had the time to care for your son while you were challenging Mr. Master. That may be so, but I wanted to grant my son's wish. He said he always wanted to be the first to eat my desserts. Please. Ah, oh, god damn it! But he's not shutting up, so how was I supposed to know? Fuck, I fucked up. I hope I don't have to restart. 
Mr. Prosecutor. I'm still recovering. I need to rest. Oh, it was only half a hit. C confound it! Well, I'm not dead, but I'm in a pretty bad situation here. I can't give up now. I have to stand my ground. Okay, all the way back up, and we got some more. We know a bit more now. Now, let's try this again. Hopefully not from the very beginning. Oh, he's got all his pieces ready? Oh, no, he's not. Okay. So let's start with this. I'm still not sure what his tell is, but... Okay, so everything tasted flavorless, so we have that disease apparently. I gotta wait the first time. And then play the second time. About your son. If he was so sick, wouldn't it be difficult for him to come and play with you? <sighs> My son's illness. It wasn't life threatening. Hmm. That might serve as a clue. So it wasn't life threatening. So then why is he ta talking about him in the past sense? Maybe it's uh, a translating issue. I'm not sure. So, prosecutor, how insensitive of you! My son was seriously ill. I will not be discussing this with the likes of you. Looks like that clue will come in handy. You told me your son's illness was not life-threatening. Is there really a need to be so secretive about it? It was enough to keep him from living a normal life. That must have been difficult for your son. I tried everything I could to cure his illness. It wasn't fair for the poor boy. He could never taste the desserts he loved so much. Now there we go. The angel's recipe contains a cure for a certain illness. A remedy that could also cure Mr. Master's taste disorder. Yes. What? He had it too? He had it too, I say. So your son suffers from a taste disorder. No! I didn't think you'd figure it out so quickly. In order to cure you so your son's taste disorder, you needed the recipe book. Wasn't that your true goal? Enough. It is as you say. Based on how he's acted up until now, it appears he is still hiding something. Looks like that clue will come in handy. Oh, there we go. That's a big one. Never used this piece yet. Being unable to taste anything, regardless of what you eat, such a bitter illness. What reminds me, didn't you say something similar earlier? None of their entries had any flavor, so I didn't feel like eating any of it, wasn't it? Perhaps your son wasn't the only one who suffered from a taste disorder. Most. <laughs> it's hard to imagine being a successful pastry chef without a sense of taste. Perhaps what you really wanted was to cure yourself. No, that is completely ludicrous. Eighteen years ago, I made those desserts all by myself. you've caught yourself in a contradiction. Didn't you cooperate with Isaac Dover in the contest? You can hardly say you made the desserts all by yourself. There we go. 
You must take great pride in your ability as a pastry chef. But to betray your pride and cooperate with another contestant. You did it all to cure to cure your own disease. Sorry, that was a bit off. Well done, Sir Prosecutor. It's as you say. The one with the taste disorder is not my son. It is I. No one knew. I've kept it a secret for 18 years. It doesn't matter how long a secret is kept. If you lie before me, I will expose it. Dame Gustavia and Isaac Dover were both trying to obtain the recipes for the new medicines. Gustavia to cure his condition, and Dover most likely to sell the recipe book for money. For this reason, they entered the contest as a collaborative effort. And with that... Checkmate! Oh thank god I needed that. Logic chest complete. Mm. I have never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. Taste disorder? It was a severe disorder. I was unable to discern any flavor at all. It's the one illness a pastry chef dreads above all. Those symptoms sound a bit different from Mr. Master's taste disorder. Mr. Master's condition is known as hypogagia. Simply causes a decrease in sensitivity to certain specific flavors. I'm sure it has caused Sir Master much pain too. After all, no medication was available to cure it 18 years ago. In order to, to cure your taste disorder, you would need Mr. Master's Angel's Recipe. And that's why you entered the contest. Am I correct? That was one of my goals, but I still had my sights set on the title of World's Greatest. When it comes to making desserts, I won't lose to anyone. Even without the ability to taste, I still have the utmost confidence in my flavors. Oh, so I presume you also prepared your desserts in the finals with the intent to win? No, that goes without saying. According to what Mr. Shields told us earlier, the evaluation of Mr. Gustavia's entry was... Semi-finals, Mr. Gustavia's flavors and design were to my liking. Unfortunately, both the taste and appearance of his finals entry left much to be desired. It seems the dessert you made for the finals was not rated highly in regards to flavor. Mm. Mr. Gustavia? You will tell us about how you made your dessert during the finals. Very well. It seems I must teach you upstarts a lesson. Here we go. Dessert for the finals. Sir Dover and I cooperated until the finals. I handled the flavor. He was in charge of the design. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge the master with my own skills. I helped Sir Dover make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. If the flavor of my entry wasn't good enough, my own lack of training was to blame. How about that, Sir Prosecutor? This is the truth of 18 years ago. 
can find any contradictions in his testimony. Well, of course he isn't going to fess up that easily. This guy has been on the run for 18 years after all. Guess we'll just have to keep on pressing him until he breaks, eh? Yes. So. Okay. Going to the finals, he ended the flavor. He was in charge of the design. Sounds right. Hold it! So Mr. Dover took care of the design while you handled the flavor. Sir Dover was a sculptor by trade. His sense of design was splendid. But he was just an amateur chef. We combined our strengths by working together. <laughs> you never did have much design sense, did you, Mr. Gustavia? Hmm. What's he gonna make? Oh! Not bad, actually. Better than the chicken he used to make. What do you think of this? Hmm. That's the symbol of Sheng Fa. Oh, I thought it was a phoenix. Oh, it is. Wow! A phoenix! That is really good! Whoa! You really have improved these past 18 years. <laughs> Behold! The fruits of my 18 years of training. I've put my life and limb on the line for my dessert skills. It's true that I cooperated with Sir Dover 18 years ago, up until the finals. Finals he wanted to challenge the master with his own skills. Hold it! So, you were really serious about the title of World's Greatest Pastry Chef? Yes. Confectionary is my life. Naturally, I wanted to be the world's greatest. But back then, I was still inexperienced, and I was no match for the better chef. But your goal was also to obtain the angel's recipe, right? Wouldn't the recipe book be worth more to you than the title? Overruled. I will not stand by and watch you badger a convalescent man like this. My gavel shall protect you, Mr. Gustavia. I realize he's still recuperating, but... Mr. Gustavia, do not yield to this devilish prosecutor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. So I helped Dover make his entry, but I made my mind complete on my own. HOLD IT! So you helped Mr. Dover with his dessert, but made yours all by yourself? No matter how you look at it, this seems odd. Why didn't Mr. Dover assist you? It matters not how it seems. It is the truth. I do not know what Sir Dover is thinking. It's hard to prove if someone is lying about something that happened 18 years ago. Hey Kay, does your secret weapon also work as a lie detector? If it did, I'd, I'd have already stolen Mr. Edward's spotlight. There's no need for that. I will expose this man's lies myself. Dean Gustavia, please continue with your testimony. Nothing really contradicting yet that I can tell. Maybe the first statement, but I'm not sure. But my entry wasn't good enough. My own lack of training was to blame. Hold it! But to the finals, I heard that you received high praise for the flavor of your desserts. So maybe it's not his training, but the disease that's to be blamed. Was there some sort of accident during the finals? <clears throat> Nothing of the sort. I simply was unable to taste my work due to my taste disorder. My intuition must have been off, that is all. 
Then was your intuition fine while making Mr. Dover's entry? No, actually they did say that it tasted very salty. But since... Uh, Jeff Master couldn't taste salty because of his uh, taste disorder, then he thought it tasted actually pretty good. How could there be such a huge difference between the finals and the previous day? No. <laughs> hmm. We're not getting anywhere at this rate. Should I change the topic? Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, I should definitely change the topic. I think... Okay, let me think. I'm gonna have to present something. I still haven't used this photo. Until when did he come? Up until the finals. So it's only at the finals they didn't come. Why is that? So it could be that. I think that's it. So I think I'm gonna ask about Mr. Dover first. Let me try that. You knew Mr. Dover before you entered the contest, right? Yes, I knew him well. Sir Dover's son and my own attended the same elementary school. Okay, let's press it and see if something, something comes out. Hold it! Then it wasn't a coincidence that you both participated in the contest? I heard about the contest, so I made the suggestion to Sir Dover. He already planted money for his cupcake business. If I recall, Mr. Dover was a greedy man who was always after more money. Ooh, so the angel's recipe is really worth that much? Okay, the recipe book was certainly valuable 18 years ago. But nowadays, most of the medicines it contains are available commercially. Well, you can still, like, make it at home, though. That's, like, still a pretty big deal. Aww, that's a shame. In the end, it seems that each of the contestants had their, had their angel's recipe as their go. All those unanswered questions 18 years ago already have the keys, I need to unravel them. I must recall all the information that Mr. Shields and my father gathered. Okay. So that didn't seem to really be it. The fact that they both attended the same school. I mean, I don't see anything in the picture that, like, contradicts it or something. I don't know. The kids do seem to be getting along, so I don't know what to say. Hmm. Let's ask them. Let's try and ask about that other thing. What was it? The semifinals, I think. Uh, press. Hold it! Hold it! already did this. Let's see if they let me ask that question again. Ask about the semifinals. So, you're sure there wasn't anything different between the semifinals and the finals? Yes, that is right. Oh, that was it? Oh. Aside from not cooperating with Sir Dover, the finals weren't much different from the semifinals. Hold it! So you were still able to make your desserts without Mr. Dover's assistance? I may have lacked design sense, but I was confident in the flavor. Apart from the design, there were no major differences between my finals and semi-finals entries. Huh? That sure is strange. That's not how Uncle Ray remembers it. I'm pretty sure both the look and taste of your final dessert scored poorly. Then, there's no way you would have won the contest! 
even the flavor, which he was so confident about, failed to materialize during the finals. Something must have changed besides Mr. Dover's cooperation. But what? All those unanswered... Well, yeah, okay. So it seems that that is the right statement or something. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. Uh, let's look at the... Oh, God damn it. Hey, when this happens. Oh, okay, so there wasn't... Mm, the finals weren't that much different. Oh, that's what's different. He used the sun to taste, or maybe not. Maybe he used the sun to taste like the desserts, and he did. But yes, this is definitely what changed. For sure. Okay, so I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go for it. And... OBJECTION! was another difference between the semi-finals and finals. This photo depicts your son. We know he came to visit you up until the finals. That is correct. What does that have to do with anything? Your son, who always came to see you through the f through the semi-finals, was not present in the finals. And then, it was only in the finals that you that you your flavor judged poorly. I don't believe this to be a mere coincidence. Your son's visits must have been very important to you, were they not? Father can work miracles when his son is watching. With my son cheering me on, I was able to make the most delicious desserts. Mr. Gustavia sure sounds like a good father, doesn't he? If what he's saying is the whole truth, one could say so. But just hearing his son's cheers wouldn't be enough to change the taste of the desserts. A confectioner, confident in his sense of taste, develops a taste disorder. It would have been difficult for him to maintain the taste of his desserts. Your son came to cheer you on. Was that really all he did? You seem very doubtful, Sir Prosecutor. In that case, I'll turn this around and ask you. He tasted the desserts, obviously. He made the desserts? Unlikely. I think he tasted them for him. I'm sure your elementary school son would have remembered the taste of your desserts. Of course. My son always loved my desserts. In that case, would he would have been able to taste to taste your desserts in your place. <laughs> What did you say? Earlier, you told us that you have a taste disorder. Mm. I've never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. No one else knew about your taste disorder? If Mr. Dover had found out, he would have ended your partnership. After all, well, you were in... Sorry. After all, you were in charge of the flavor. Meditating. Your son didn't just cheer you on. He also helped you determine if your desserts tasted correct. No. No! 
Ah, I see. Mr. Dober's desserts. Dessert was made the day before, so it still tasted good. <laughs> what you are saying is quite amusing, Sir Prosecutor. You say that my elementary school son assisted me as a taste taster. Tester. You are insulting my pride. Your pride? It's true. I had no sense of design 18 years ago. However, I won't lose to anyone when it comes to flavor. Well, that's like, obviously wrong. You claim I would cast aside my pride and rely on my son. Don't get carried away with your foolish conjecture, you upstart. In that case, I'm sure your son can confirm if my theory is mere conjecture. No, <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I no longer have a son. What? What? After my taste disorder was cured, I went to train in Cheng Fa immediately. During that time, I severed all ties with my son. What? Why? Oh, because he did show up for the finals. It made him lose, probably. What? Don't tell me. You would even abandon your own son. That's not all. Even today, the whereabouts of his son are still unknown. The police have been searching. They haven't been able to. Sorry. They haven't been able to find any traces of him. You wish to confirm your theory? I welcome you to try. <laughs> Desserts are the only things that are important to me. After regaining my sense of taste, my son no longer mattered. Smash! Order in the court. Mr. Gustavia's actions are certainly inhumane. However, we are not here to judge whether or not he is a good father. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I believe this is your loss. After all, there is no evidence left from 18 years ago that could prove your theories. Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we can do? At this rate, we'll never find out the truth. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, what are those results? I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked forensics to look into it, sir. Right. I leave it to you, Detective. Oh, I guess I just forgot that we're waiting for answers regarding the blood. And just assumed it was the bodies, since the body died from bleeding and was inside the ice. But I guess that doesn't make enough sense for this game. I entrusted Detective Gumshoe with the last piece of evidence. If only I knew who that blood belonged to. Miles, there's still one thing that's bothering Uncle Ray. It was Mr. Gustavus' only reason for coming to the art gallery to check on the body? If he only wanted to confirm the body's presence, he wouldn't have needed to open the case. That's right. Is there a way we could prove this? There is one way. We just need that evidence from Detective Gumshoe. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what are you talking about? Mr. Edgeworth, sorry to keep you waiting, sir! <gasps> huh. Just the person I was talking about. Detective Gumshoe, I trust you have the test results. I love that Larry is just like painting this whole time. Of course, sir. I got the report back from the lab. Smash. Detective, please be silent. 
Hello, Ada Lamau. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Happy Thursday, buddy. So, this is the evidence that Prosecutor Edgeworth was talking about. Huh? Hey, what's this? This is the first time I've heard of it. Um... This was a request from me. I asked him to investigate a certain piece of evidence. Why? Why is everyone always helping you out? A fun Thursday, that's awesome. Did anything special or uh, just a generally good day? Oh shit, I accidentally clicked on the wrong place. Mr. DeBest, I apologize for taking matters into my own hands, but how about we hear his report first? Uh, sure. Detective Gumshoe, what were the results? Here's the report, sir! Nice! That's great to hear, man. I'm glad uh, you're having a good day. The traces of blood found in the Gemini sculpture belong to... The victim of the poison gas, Dengastavia! What are you saying? Good work, Detective Gumshoe. As I thought, my theory was correct. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? Smash, we too would like an explanation. What on earth does this blood prove? This blood is something the culprit of the IS-7 incident tried to conceal. <gasps> It can't be. That's... This blood was found inside the glass case of the Gemini sculpture. In other words, your blood was found alongside Mr. Dover's body. No! no! Overruled. Overruled. Why would Mr. Gustavus' blood be in a place like that? If you intend to remain silent, then I'll reveal the truth myself. In the Gemini case, aside from the blood, we also found traces of salt and sugar. Salt and blood. And only one of Mr. Dover's sherbet desserts tasted salty. Come to think of it. I remember Mr. Bushes saying the same thing 18 years ago. Oh, yes, see? His sherbet was most delicious. Really? Oh, sorry. Oh, really? I wish I could have eaten some too. But there was one piece that was so salty I couldn't eat it. Salty? It's right here in this photo. It was a part of that liar. That's the liar from the Gemini constellation. Exactly. For some reason, salt had been mixed into the liar. No other traces of salt were found in Dover's room. In that case, please explain. Where did the salt detected from the liar come from? I am actually not sure at all. Let's look at this. Um, rock salt lamp. Of course. Take that. This is the rock salt lamp used as the murder weapon in the IS-7 incident. I believe part of this rock salt lamp was mixed in with a sherbet from the liar. At the time of the murder, there were two rock salt lamps in Mr. Master's room. One of those lamps took Mr. Dover's life. We know that Mr. Dover's blood was left behind on the murderer's lamp. However, there were no traces of anyone's blood found at the crime scene, Mr. D Mr. Master's room. Because the killer disposed of all the desserts with the traces of blood into the streams of water, right? 
no other traces of salt were found in Mr. Dover's room. Hmm. Speaking of which, one of the two rocks on lamps found in Mr. Licious' room also broken. It looks like both the lamps in the and in the pillars are broken. Was a little light bulbs broken? Maybe they were dropped on the floor. We never did figure out why the other oxide lamp was broken. Maybe Mr. Gustavia's blood was on the other lamp. <laughs> if your blood was found in the the lamps at the crime scene, you would have been suspected. As the culprit, you would have needed to conceal all traces of your blood from the police. Don't tell me you concealed it in the sherbet liar. Exactly. The rock salt lamp and his blood were mixed into the sherbet liar and hidden inside the, gla the glass case. Unlike the fountain's water, the sherbet desserts would not be analyzed right away. Perhaps he had planned to dispose of the sherbet when the opportunity presented itself. Th then, the reason Mr. Gustavia came to this gallery... Eighteen years ago, the body and the evidence pointed to the killer were both stolen. Even the killer could not have anticipated that. There was no way of knowing when the body and the evidence would be discovered. So he planned to destroy the evidence before the Zodiac Art Gallery's grand opening. Dean Gustavia, isn't it about time you confessed? You are the true culprit of the IS-7 incident! No. No. Monsieur Gustavia! You're the reason Monsieur Master is... No! <laughs> Mr. Gustavio. Could it be... After all this time, my crime is finally brought to light. The prosecutor and defense attorneys 18 years ago never even came close. Bravo! Bravo! Well done, Sir Prosecutor! So you admit that you killed Mr. Dover? <laughs> it is true. I killed Isaac Dover. But he had only... He had only himself to blame. What do you mean? Dover and I... Work together in order to win the contest. No matter who won, we agreed that we'd share the angel's recipe. But on the day of the finals, he stabbed me in the back. So Dover, this isn't what we agreed to. Oh, we never actually knew Dover's voice. I'm sorry, Gustavia. The deal is off. What? I made your desserts for you. I'm the reason you got this far. And what of it? Can you prove that you assisted me in any way? Dover, you. You are planning to betray me all along. Because of Dover's treachery, I was forced to make my final entry on my own. He is a bastard, but also is Gustavia, mainly because of how he treated his son. I really hope his son pops up at some point. And we get to hear, like, his side, because that is, like, a really evil thing to do. Really evil. It's just as the prosecutor said. My son assisted me every day until the finals. What about your pride as a confectionery artist? A proud chef loses the ability to taste his own creations. That's a feeling of, a, of an upstart like you would never understand. Mastering the art of dessert 
making, of dessert making, is my reason for being. It is my one and only pride. Committing murder for the sake of pride? That's another feeling I will never understand. You say nothing of abandoning your own son. Such a thought disgusts me. Before you judge me, first understand what happened 18 years ago. On the day of the finals, my son never came to assist me. Thinking back on it now, I suppose Dover had a hand in that as well. Huh? What exactly happened to your son? I do not know, but it no longer matters. Ever since that day, my son meant nothing to me. From what I hear, he's still missing. Th that's awful! Giving up on him like that! That your son, you had no chance of winning, correct? Yes. And since I was guaranteed to lose, I needed a failsafe. During the afternoon tea time, I made my way to Sir Master's room. I just needed to take a photo of the cure to taste to, of the cure to my taste disorder. It would have all worked out. And then Dover probably entered and that's why he had to kill him. If only Dover hadn't interfered. Ah, Gustavia. Trying to steal a picture of my prize, are you? But hardly seems supporting. Yo! Cure for taste disorders. Oh, you have a taste disorder, don't you? <laughs> this is rich. A pastry chef who can't taste. It really is, yeah. Dover, you. Gah! Puny worm. You are in no position to oppose me. Why, you... When I attempted to hit Dover, he struck me and sent me flying. I crashed into one of the rock sword lamps, and that was when my blood stayed on it. So Mr. Dover wasn't the first one to be injured. To conceal my blood, I shaved away part of the rock sword lamp and mixed it into the sherbet. After that, it became a part of the Raya sculpture. So, that's how you tried to erase your traces from the crime scene. Dover tried to blackmail me by using his knowledge of my taste disorder. If I didn't want it to become public, I was to pay him a large sum. So, that's the reason why you killed Isaac Dover. <laughs> exactly. What reason do I have to let those who obstruct me live? He was the one who drew first blood. I simply gave him his just desserts. So that was his motive. I carried the rock sword lamp that bore my blood into Dover's room. Then, I came up with a hiding place, where it would not be easily found. I get it. The room contained plenty of tools for sculpting sherbet. Yes, Idol Mao, but I know how to counter them too. Your deduction is spot on, Sir Attorney. It was the ideal place to shave away the rock salt. I then proceeded to coat the surface of the sherbet liar with vast amounts of the salty mixture. Mais pourquoi? Why did you try to pin the crime on Monsieur Master? Hold it! You are wrong to blame me for that, Lady Catherine. If not for your un unnecessary meddling, Sir Master would never have been a suspect. 
Why do you think I hate the murder weapon? And fluorescent cloth. He laid it delicious, you know. There's only one reason why you'd place a murder weapon in someone else's room. He wanted to pin the crime on Delisha. Eep! M me Yes, that is correct. Why? Why me? As one who sought to be the best, the world's best confectioner, I greatly respected Sir Master. It was never my intention to cast suspicion on him. But an insolent woman who dared to sully the contest with fake desserts. I had no problem. Letting someone like you take the blame for the crime. Th that... that makes me sad. If you hadn't snacked on other people's desserts, the body would never have been found. It was when Sir Master would be judging Lady Delicious' room. That's when I finally saw an opportunity to freeze the body. But before I could move the body, Lady Catherine had already discovered it. Pourquoi? Did you need to freeze Monsieur Dover's body? Why indeed? Monsieur Edgeworth, please tell us. Why would Monsieur Gustavia have needed to freeze the body? To create a fake crime scene, exactly. To make it seem as if he was killed in Dover's room. I guess. The reason Mr. Gustavia froze the body it was probably to create a fake crime scene. A fake crime scene? What? Oh, come on. You don't get it. Judge Courtney's icy glare is so cold, I feel like I'm about to freeze. Hmm. It seems, was, it seems I was mistaken. Monsieur Edgeworth. Please tell us the truth this time. Why would Mr. Gustavia have needed to freeze a body? Oh, because it's not that. To disguise it as an ice culture and then people won't find out? Or to throw off the time of death? Could be either. I really don't know. I, this seems a tiny bit more logical to me. Since he couldn't have had, like, the body never found out. Like, it would have been found out sooner or later, anyway. Yeah, so I'm thinking time of death. It's still a bit weird, but let me try that. Because that's, like, that's the, the way... The body would still be discovered, but he would not be the suspect, along with if, if his framing of Delicia worked. Mr. Gustavia intended to freeze the body in order to throw off the time of death. The time of death had coincided, had coincided with a tea party. Mr. Gustavia would have been suspected. <laughs> that is correct. Preparations were necessary to freeze the body. While I was preparing in Dover's room, I placed the body in the treasure chest in Sir Master's room. I could think of no better hiding place at the time. But thanks to that gluttonous pharmacist, the lid of the chest broke. But why did you disguise him as an ice sculpture? Once the body was discovered, there would be no time to throw off the, throw off the time of death. To buy time, he needed to hide it somewhere, someplace else. Quel horrible! How could you hide Monsieur Dover's body within one of his own works? It, will, it all would have worked out if the body hadn't been discovered while it was in Sir Master's room. If everything had gone according to plan, Sir Master would never have been arrested. So, because I discovered the body? It is my fault, Monsieur Master was. Okay. Don't take his words to heart. 
Even if suspicion hadn't fallen on Mr. Master, Mr. Delicious would have taken the fall. No matter who he targeted, the one at fault here is Mr. Gustavia himself. The detective in charge of the initial investigation was also a dunce. The reason suspect did thing it has a 50-50% of being correct or not. Oh. Well, yeah, that was pretty good. It did feel like the dialogue was aiming, was going in a more correct path than when it chose the first option. To think that he never reported a missing body to the prosecutor. Prosecutor Von Karma indicted Mr. Ma Master without knowing the body had vanished. I see. That would explain why he looked so flustered at the crime scene. Although, it's something that would stand out if you read the official documents. Could someone have intentionally distorted the information? Probably Von Karma. I would, definitely would not put it past him. At any rate, Von Karma found out about the missing body after he had made his indictment. And if he had let one person be acquitted, he'd have a stain on his much prided perfect record. That's why he concealed the fact that the body was hidden and had Mr. Master declared guilty. What are you saying? For 18 years, that man has taken the blame for your crimes. Don't you feel anything at all? <laughs> I don't care what you say. What a monster! I'm arresting it right here, right now! Smash! I'm sorry. But I'm afraid that will be impossible. <gasps> so, you figured it out. That's correct. You have no right to sentence me. What? Well, the culprit is standing right in front of us. <laughs> Allow me to tell you the reason why you can't arrest me. Okay, I think actually this will be the best. I know it's like in the middle of a dialogue, but I think this will be the best time to stop so we can remember everything that happened and dive right into explaining him, explaining why we can't arrest him yet, and I know exactly what I'm going to do uh, to counter that too. So that's perfect. Uh, so that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this at least as much as I did. I know this game isn't being super popular right now, but I hope that at least some of you still find it enjoyable, like Idle Mao and uh, anybody else really so uh, I'm gonna be seeing you guys unfortunately it's gonna be a couple of days it's gonna be only maybe probably only on Sunday uh, right now it's scheduled but I'll update the, the schedule as soon as I know so make sure to check it every once in a while uh, obviously there's a North American and a European version for you to check out to see what time it will be for you locally, but same time as today. Other than that, if you're new to the stream or haven't done so already, feel free to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Steam to get notifications whenever I start, and on Twitch and YouTube to watch my past broadcasts of this game and others as well. So that's it. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Uh, hang on tight. The weekend is almost here. It's already here for me, and I've got to tell you it's pretty great. So uh, I'll see you guys around. I'll try to stream as much as I can during the weekend, even if it's not scheduled Ace Attorney Investigation streams. Uh, and that's it. So hopefully I'll see you guys real soon. Take care, everybody. And Marco.